welcome to soft reviewed as you can see straco uh, just introduced uh, rag and agents uh, in their api documentation if you refer this as you can see now uh, it's getting feature rich day by day now you can do a lot of things and uh, the latest one is rag and agents uh, rag i have already done a video uh, where uh, you can see how that works and uh, for that you can watch this video and if you want the previous uh, integrations you can also watch this video as well now we will be mainly looking at uh, this agent implementation we have uh, we have like seven endpoints that we can connect uh, to our api and uh, let's look at how that's done i have already connected all these and now i'll show you how it works to the create an agent example in this one we we, we can add like a name I give like a custom prompt for example you can say like you will output only in capital letter let that be the prompt uh, and we can also set the default uh, llm that we want to use and just as an identifier let's give like a description that uh, this is just a, a youtube test and uh, youtube one uh, two tags as white uh, yt and test just to actually understand which one is which as an identifier these are not important but you can still add that and the agent name can be uh, like uh, youtube agent uh, since it's just for an example when i just uh, run this uh, as you can see it created this it created this new agent and we can also see the uh, tags as well uh, that we just created so uh, this is the uh, id that we can use for our agent this is the id for the agent if we want to call this agent for future task so in order to get the the next module i have added is get agent details if i just connect it and if i just add it here uh, in order to get the agent details i can just add the copied id uh, and just click on ok and just click on run and that will give us the full agent details that we just created so as you can see the default llm is uh, gpt40 and uh, custom prompt will be you will only output in capital letter and uh, the name is uh, yt agent and everything as before so we can get our uh, agent details uh, just by giving the id if we want to update the agent we already created we can use this module uh, for example this is the id of the current agent that we have and instead of youtube for example our agent name was like a yt agent right in this example uh, i can add the name as youtube agent. Uh, so this is the only thing that i am changing here and uh, i have also changed the uh, cloud uh, to cloud 3.5 sonnet and i am leaving description and tags as null so let's see if this can modify our agent id uh, f93 okay this is the our previous uh, and it's uh, now modified and now it's the it's the same f93 and uh, as you can see there it's the cloud 3.5 sonnet and instead of yt agent now it's youtube agent and the default llm is changed to sonnet so if we get that detail again uh, this will reflect this new change uh, let me just uh, run this again and if we expand as you can see it's changed to cloth uh, 3.5 sonnet and our name is now youtube agent instead of it agent so that's how we update agent and we can list all the agents by just uh, running this and adding the module uh, list agents there is no input here just run it and we can see the uh, list of all the agents that's available right now i have seven bundles that means i have seven agents the last one is the one that i created now uh, with the sonnet and youtube agent name change so this is our current agent the latest agent that we created just now now we can attach a rag information to the agent that we created right now this is important for uh, us to give the proper information here so this is the agent id that uh, ending with nine and the rag id can be you can get the rag id from here i list all the rag so we have all the uh, rag id here and uh, this is the uh, this is our rag id and this is a make functions document so rag id here 
and i am uh, changing this to the um, uh, rag id that we found from uh, running this module so what it does is it will attach that information to this agent and let me just run it and as you can see now our 93 agent is now rag attached with this rag so it also has rag now uh, once we attach the rag now uh, our agent is ready for use in order to use that in tasks uh, we can use the uh, agent prompt completion module uh, in order to use that i'm just dragging it here here we have to just give our, our agent id uh, if we go here and uh, uh, this is our agent id that ends with 93 and we can now prompt it uh, give me key takeaways about the context that i provided so uh, as you can see we the we have not provided any other information other than attaching the rag to this agent and all i am doing is uh, just running this right now and we have the answer like this uh, it's giving us the key takeaways as you can see it's about me and it understand that from the rag that we attached to this agent prompt if you note when we created this agent right uh, for example when we you will output only in capital letter so the custom prompt is not taken into consideration here uh, i have uh, like contacted a uh, strike team and they said that it's not currently active but in the future development they will be uh, using that information so as of now, uh, we have to work uh, without that information. So the, these are some of the updates. Anyway, I have added uh, this agent as well. So in the future, when they add, it will be easy for us to actually uh, use uh, this functionality as well. So I have not left out any uh, a new API uh, additions. I have added all the rag and the agent as well. Now we will have to just wait for the update from uh, the Strico team and uh, uh, another update that i did is like in the add module uh, if you uh, watched my previous video mm, uh, this was like was not there uh, this uh, chat with one model uh, earlier uh, we had this uh, prompt completion which we can uh, get output from four llms at the same time for uh, creating automations and if you are only using one model to chat uh, for your automation i would definitely recommend this uh, because I have upgraded uh, and added some more features into this and uh, mainly I recommend this because uh, now uh, if we change uh, from any of this LLM models uh, you have to may change this only in here and you uh, the, that change will automatically uh, happen in the other module as well you also have the option to set the temperature uh, that influence the variation of the output that it produces, and you can also control the token as well uh, these are the new updates and for example if i just uh, how are you i just asked sonnet how are you if i just run it and how the output will be uh, given uh, directly like this in here uh, that's also a new change that i added otherwise we have to go to like it's really deep the answer you have to go to the choices message then uh, we have to go in this deep in order to find our answer so in order to make our life easier i have like added this in the root itself uh, we don't have to go in deep uh, into the inner layer so that's also one update uh, so you will be easily able to actually for example get a file this is uh, you can just directly add the completion here just like that uh, that's how it works all these updates will be available uh, for free for those who already purchased it and if you have not yet purchased and want to know all the other endpoints and modules and all the other features like image generation chat uh, file upload and things like that you can watch the other video that i will have in the end cards uh, if you want to uh, buy this uh, i'll have this in the description uh, on my store uh, i hope uh, this was helpful uh, if you liked it please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more future videos again thank you for watching and have a great day